dear children welcome to the digital classes today we are going to learn the lesson simple electric circuits in this we will learn about the cell torch light then the story of the bulb though these are familiar to you we will learn what is there inside the cell its inner parts and how it works torch light and its parts how to use the torch light in a right way what are the difficulties that faced by the scientist to invent the bulb shall we start the lesson children observe the video carefully what are the students doing maybe they are seriously preparing for their exams what happened suddenly what do you notice dear children what happened while the students are reading what did the other student do what we will do when power goes off what did the boy put into the torch light to light what is the person doing how does the swing swinging what is it that tie to the tie why is it moving what is this why is it rotating can you name this tie what is inside it how the helicopter is moving when it is switched on what is this what is inside it can you guess it what is this what are inside it what do we need to move a toy helicopter to work a computer mouse a remote control to move a toy and to move a swing discuss with your teacher we need cells to switch on a torch light we need cells in order to work all the above shown ties tie helicopter swing mouse and remote control observe these cells carefully do you notice any symbols on the cells there are two symbols on each cell plus symbol on the cell is called positive terminal and minus symbol is called negative terminal the negative terminal of the cell will be flat and the positive terminal will be projected what we observe till now are called as dry cells let us see what is inside a dry cell observe the dry cell carefully you can see two symbols on it the bottom of the cell is negative terminal and the top of the cell is positive terminal to protect the cell there is a iron shield cover so now shall we remove the cover what did you observe you see a white colored shield it is made of zinc it works 
as negative terminal. Now slowly remove the upper part. What did you see? Remove the upper part slowly. You see a black colored powder like material on which white paste upon it. Please observe carefully. A white colored chemical substance is ammonium chloride and white colored chemical substance is ammonium chloride and the black one is manganese dioxide. Now slowly remove the ammonium chloride and the manganese dioxide. Then you will see a black rod. What do you observe? The black colored carbon rod acts as positive terminal. Dear children, so far you came to know the parts of the cell. Now discuss with your teacher of each of the part of the cell and how they works. How do we use cells in our day to day life? Button like cells are used in watches and computers. 1.5 volt batteries are used in torch lights, remote controls and cameras. Lithium ion batteries are used in cellular phones. 6 volts and 12 volts batteries are used in motorbikes, cars, tractors and all vehicles. Children, we came to know that where we use different types of batteries and cells. Now discuss the other situations where we use different types of cells and batteries in our daily life. Hello friends, now I am going to tell you an interesting story. Which story? The story you have never heard before, okay? But before the story, first of all, I shall show you some visuals. What are these? What is this? Where do we use it? It is another one. Can you guess what is it? And where do we use it? It is another one. Can you guess it? It is another one. Can you guess what is it? It is another one. Can you guess what is it and where we use it? Have you ever seen this? In recent times, these things are using by us mostly. Can you guess them? Okay, you have watched so many pictures. What are they? They are bulbs. Okay. Now, I don't tell you anything. This story narrated by our teacher. The story of invention of bulb is very interesting. We may think that a bulb is a very simple gadget, just press a switch and it lights up. But do you know that many scientists worked hard for many years before the first successful bulb was made? One of them was Thomas Alva Edison. One of them was Thomas Alva Edison. Thomas Alva Edison was born in Milan, Ohio on February 11, 1847. As a child, 
Thomas questioned everything. At a younger age, Edison developed a passion for reading, especially related to chemistry. Even an intelligent scientist like Thomas had to work hard for many years. First of all, he passed electricity through a thin thread like platinum wire, but it burnt out after a few seconds. Edison thought that if we remove the air around the filament of glass bulb, the wire would not burn out so quickly. He removed the air and passed the current. The bulb lit up and not burned for 8 minutes. And he began experimenting with different materials. He tried cotton thread. It burned continuously for 45 minutes. Hours. Finally, he saw a man using a handheld fan made of bamboo sticks. Edison tried bamboo fiber as filament. Amazingly, this lasted for a number of days. Finally, he succeeded in making a cotton filament that was even better than the bamboo's one. Today, we are using the same kind of bulbs as were first made by Edison. The only difference is that our bulbs have a filament made of a metal called tungsten. Children, I think you felt surprised how the bulb is invented. Observe these two bulbs carefully and find the differences. The big one has two terminals and the small one has one terminal at the bottom. A torchlight bulb consists of a glass chamber fixed on a metal base. Two metal wires are firmly fixed. One wire is attached to the side of the metal cap and the other is attached to the base at the center of the metal cap. Why do bulbs and cells have two terminals? How does a bulb glow with the help of a cell? Observe these videos carefully, in which case the bulb will be glowing. Connect the positive terminal of the bulb and the cell, but do not connect the negative terminals. Observe whether the bulb glows or not. Connect the positive and negative terminals of the bulb to the positive terminals of the cell. Observe whether the bulb glow or not. Connect the positive of the bulb to the positive terminal of the cell and the negative of the bulb to the negative terminal of the cell and observe whether the bulb glows or not. In which case does the bulb glow? Why? In which case the bulb does not glow? Why? Let us do the same experiments now. Connect the positive terminal of the bulb and the cell, but do not connect the negative terminals. Does the bulb glows or not? Connect the positive and negative terminals of the bulb to the positive terminal of the cell. Observe whether the bulb glow or not. Connect the positive and negative terminals of the bulb to the negative terminal of the cell. Observe whether the bulb glows or not. Now, connect the positive terminal of the bulb to the positive terminal of the cell and negative terminal of the bulb with negative terminal of the cell. Observe whether the bulb glows or not. The bulb glows only when the current flows from the cell and the path is closed. 
that is the bulb glows when switch is put on and when the circuit is completely closed this is called as a simple electric circuit a similar electric circuit exists in the torch light also which we observed earlier now let us see the parts inside the torch light the torch light consists of a metal spring glass seal halo cylindrical barrier switch cells and a bulb now the switch is used to put on and put off the torch light now arrange the cells in different positions and watch in which case the bulb glows now put the cells into the torch light as shown in the video and switch on the torch and observe the bulb glow or not again now put the cells into the torch light as shown in the video and switch on the torch light and observe the bulb glows or not again put the cells into the torch light as shown in the video and switch on the torch light and observe the bulb glow or not now put the cells into the torch light as direction shown in the video and switch on the torch observe the bulb glow or not in which case does the bulb glow why in which case the bulb does not glow why join the negative terminals of two cells and connect them to a bulb and observe whether the bulb glows or not again join the positive terminals of two cells and connect them to a bulb observe whether the bulb glow or not now join the positive terminal of one cell to the negative terminal of the other cell and connect them to a bulb observe whether the bulb glow or not bulb does not glow if the negative terminals of the cells join bulb does not glow if the positive terminals of the cells join bulb glows only when the cells are arranged in particular position bulb glows only when cells are arranged in a particular position like positive terminal of one cell is arranged next to the negative terminal of other cell discuss the key points cell consists of two terminals that is positive and negative zinc cylinder acts as negative terminal and the carbon rod acts as positive terminal a torch bulb consists of a glass chamber fixed on a metal base two metal wires are firmly fixed one wire is attached to the side of the metal cap and the other is attached to the base of the metal cap torch light consists of a metal spring glass seal halo cylindrical barrier switch cells and a bulb 
bulb glows only when the cells are arranged in particular position think and discuss we use different types of bulbs in different situations what are they think and discuss in what cases the cell may not work think and discuss in what cases the torch light may not work what are the alternative equipments used in place of the cell we often use cell and battery as synonyms are the same are different what is the difference between cell and battery children up to now we have learned what is a cell its inner parts and its uses in our day to day life how a torch light works using cells and how to use it and finally we have learned how the present day bulb invented and shaped now you have to discuss the things which were mentioned in the think and discuss point with your teacher and make a project report on the different types of cells and batteries and their uses in our day to day life and present before the class thank you see you again